In this video, I'll be showing you how to create a new Boost Mobile Carrier including a new fee. First, you may click on the Settings tab, and then Admin Tools. In order to add a carrier, you may click on the Add or Remove Carrier tool, which is located here. In the Payment Setting window, you may select the carrier you want to add. In this case, we choose Boost Mobile. And since this carrier will include a fee, we will name it as Boost Mobile with Fee. Let's copy this name for future references. In the item code field, you may enter the top up item code for the carrier you are creating. So let's paste the name here and press enter. The software will tell us that this item code does not exist. Would you like to create it? You would click yes. And you'll be presented with the product window. Here you may select the product type of the top up you are creating. And since we are creating a top up bill payment product, the product type will be payment. So let's scroll down to select payment. In the item name, you may enter the name of the item code. So let's go ahead and paste that. In the selling price field, you may enter a fixed price of the top up you are creating. So whenever you make a top up payment for Boost Mobile, the price will remain the same. So in this case, we will keep it at zero. And the profit rate will also remain zero as well. Let's turn off the taxes and let's create this item. Now that this top up item code has been created, you may go ahead and add a fee to it by creating a fee item code. Let's enter Boost Mobile Fee as our fee item code. And press enter. The software will tell us that this item does not exist. Would you like to create it? And you would click yes. This time we are creating a fee product. Therefore, it would be categorized as a service. So let's go ahead and select our product type as a non-inventory service. And let's name it Boost Mobile Fee. The selling price would be zero. And let's turn off the taxes as well as the activations. And once we're done making changes, we can create this item. Now that this fee item code has been created, you can add a fee to it. A fee is the amount you charge on every bill payment. So let's go ahead and select our fee type by clicking the drop down menu and selecting fee amount, which would be a fixed price since Boost Mobile is now adding a fee and taking away the percentage commission. So the fee would be $3. And on the right hand side, you have the option to enter a cost that you have to pay on every bill payment you make. So on every Boost Mobile bill payment, Boost Mobile will charge you $2. So you would enter $2 as your cost. You also have the option to enter a tax rate or a 911 tax to this carrier. However, in this case, we will keep them as zero. Now that you have entered all the details, you can add this carrier by clicking save. And the software will tell us that this carrier has been added to the list. Let's click OK. Now let's try to do a bill payment choosing Boost Mobile as our carrier. We would click the payment tab and then bill payment. Let's enter a number. and select our carrier which would be Boost Mobile with fee. And as you can see, the fee that we created is automatically added to the bill payment, as well as the cost. Now let's proceed with the bill payment and enter the bill amount. Let's say we enter $40, and now our total amount is $43. Let's go ahead and check out. Here we can select our payment method, so let's keep it as cash and click save. And that's how you create a new Boost Mobile Carrier including a fee in CellSmart POS.